Right guys and girls, Mike Crossford here. Today we've got a couple of irons. We're gonna compare. We've got the Titleist T200 and we're gonna compare it up to the Callaway Apex. I'm gonna hit 10 shots with each club nearest the pin, actually on a golf hole as well, rather than just up that drive range. So we'll get some bounce and roll and those kind of things. Which one would you choose and why? And will this review change your opinion? And if so, let me know in the comments. How close or different will these two clubs be? Let me know down there as always. So let's just kick off quickly on looks. Apex is slightly chunkier and higher in its blade, where the T200 is winning on the thinner line, if that's what you like the look of. These are both seven irons, so we'll show you how they react. We are one, seven, six out, par three. Apex to kick us off. Very solid feeling in the Apex, like it does feel solid and strong. I think it's going to appeal to a wider range of golfers. So both of these irons could appeal to any handicap. I just think the more rounded top line will appeal to a wider range. Maybe T200 a little bit more as you come down in handicap. But try not to think of what handicap suits what club. Because remember different handicaps play different styles of golf. I can, I've, you know, you've got people who hit the ball miles and really strong, but play off 18 handicap, as well as you've got people who hit the ball not very far and play off five handicap. Like it's not as black and white as that. And I do think Apex is one of the best irons in golf for looking like it could just appeal to any level. So what I mean by that is I could 100% game this as well as a tour pro could game this as well as a beginner. Like the looks and the feels and everything, it feels slightly firmer, but everything it throws at us just makes it look like you can hit it. It does feel really rock solid. Right, I'm gonna hit three with each, now I'm gonna switch to the tightest, keep switching so we don't get into any patterns. I think the 200 looks so much like the old 100, so in its slender looks, it does look very classical while offering all the help and kind of options that the same game improvement in the Apex will bring. And that was a pretty bottomy strike and that still made it. Much better hit. It's slightly louder in its sound. None of these are really quiet and soft feeling, like they're medium feelings and they make good old cracks off the face. I love the thing about T200, it's how easy it is to hit, the lines on it are great. I've just never liked that. that Tacky sounding pad has to go in the next generation. Yeah, feels solid. Like it's not the quietest, but it feels good off the face. I've hit some different strikes there. You can see how similar these shots are coming out with both, which is what I would expect from clubs trying to feel pretty much the same brief. T200s, improved sound and feel. I'm not sore about the sound. Player preferred shape, totally precise distance control. So they've got features, they've got tungsten weights in them. New max impact technology, trying to keep ball speeds up consistent across miss hits. Multi-material body, engineered muscle plate, forward face inserts. It's a combo of game improvement and their player styling. Apex, so it's the first iron with the AI face. It's got the AI design flashed cut face forged Apex iron is the first ever time. Unique AI architecture. So again, it's all around consistent ball speeds on our inconsistent strikes. Consistent launch and forgiveness. This has got a tungsten energy core, five times more tungsten than the prior Apex. Um, precision center of gravity, promoting better launches. Forged blade feel in a player's distance line. So they're both trying to say forged and better sounding where they're not as good a sounding as a forged iron, both of them. So really struggling to tell the difference in feel between the two. I don't think they're as soft as they advertise. Um, at the moment, the Apex is really the one if you want a feel or kind of look of help where the T200 is really that little bit more shaved off. I think the MOI in both of them are gonna be pretty much identical. So like, doesn't matter how many you hit, you're not gonna feel that one is friendlier than the other. You might feel like one is from the looks. So nine shots of each, you can see the Callaway averaging to the pin, 21 foot, seven inches, the Titleist 20 foot, three inches, standard deviation of 10 foot and 9.7 foot. So so, so close on those two, which is what I was seeing and feeling. And then when we compare, look what we're getting. One mile an hour ball speed with two mile an hour standard deviation. So they're the same. 
launch angle one degree standard deviation, a 0.4 difference in the, di in the launch of the two, so they're the same. Spin the same, side angle the same, carry is three yards in its average, but you can see that's not playing out on the standard deviations are overlapping, which is why we see two circles exactly on top of each other. So tight list just snuck it on the, you can see the strikes there, mixing from low to slightly high, but all along the center line, that's with the tight list. And the Callaway was very similar strike pattern. Um, we got one shot each, which one's gonna win with one go at it? 21 foot, 320, so at the moment, tight list is a foot closer on average over nine. One shot when it matters, who do you reckon? So tight list to kick us off, little bit of pre-shot routine. Let's try and make this feel like it's a shot that matters like it would on a course. It's quite good to do in your tests rather than just get into rhythms. Slight drawn, decent strike. It's gonna be pin either just pass, just sit, take it. That's a pretty good shot from the tight list there. So that one's 17 foot 10 inches. So inside my average, a good shot. Can the apex beat that? Again, one shot the matter, I'm gonna do my Normal routine as if I was hitting shots on the course. Oh, it's a low heel, so it's gonna need a favorable bounce. It's a worse strike and it's gonna be further away. 35 foot, two inches club or me. You could argue that club did quite well for how I struck that, to be fair. Two great irons, I think, appealing to all range of golfers. Callaway maybe for a few more wider ranges. A through brand alliances, maybe tightest assigned in people's heads with tall players a bit more, but that doesn't mean the T200 wouldn't suit any player. It does, it's just slimmer in it looks, where the Callaway looks Renier. But if you go on the data of hitting those two shots, if that wasn't my buying factor, that slight ability to hit a little bit closer on that little batch of data set might do it. But I know over time, these two are gonna play out pretty much the same. Two great irons, which one would you go for and why? And tell me, what do these brands in the iron world mean to you in those comments down below?